HR Basics is a series of short courses designed to highlight what you need to know about a particular human resource management topic. In today's HR Basics, we explore protected classes, the characteristics protected from employment-related discrimination by law. A protected class is a group of people with a common characteristic who are legally protected from employment discrimination on the basis of that characteristic. Protected classes are created by both federal and state law. For more information about state-specific protected classes, check with your state department responsible for discrimination. Federal protected classes include the following. Race, color, religion, national origin, sex, age, disability, veteran status, genetic information, and citizenship. Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 prohibits employment discrimination on the basis of race, color, national origin, sex, and religion in any aspect of employment, from hiring to firing and everything in between. These traits are also called protected characteristics and referred to as protected classes. Let's define each of the Title VII protected classes. Race discrimination involves treating someone unfavorably because they're of a certain race or because of personal characteristics associated with that race. Color discrimination involves treating someone unfavorably because of the color complexion of their skin. Religious discrimination involves treating a person unfavorably because of his or her religious beliefs. The law protects all people who have sincerely held religious beliefs, ethical or moral beliefs as well. National origin discrimination involves treating people unfavorably because they're from a particular country or part of the world, or an ethnicity, assent, or they appear to be of a certain ethnic background, even if they're not. Finally, sex discrimination involves treating someone unfavorably because of that person's gender. The Age Discrimination and Employment Act of 1967 forbids employment discrimination against anyone at least 40 years of age or older in the United States. The Age Discrimination in Employment Act, known as the ADEA, forbids age discrimination against people who are age 40 and older. It does not protect workers under the age of 40, although some states have laws that protect younger workers from age discrimination. It is not illegal for an employer or other covered entity to favor an older worker over a younger one, even if both workers are over age 40. Discrimination can occur when the victim or the person who inflicted the discrimination are both over age 40. The Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990, known as the ADA, prohibits discrimination based on disability. Not everyone with a medical condition is protected by the law. In order to be protected, a person must be qualified for the job and have a disability as defined by the law. A person can show that he or she is disabled in one of three ways. A person may be disabled if he or she has a physical or mental condition that substantially limits a major life activity, such as walking, talking, seeing, hearing, or learning. A person may be disabled if he or she has a history of a disability, such as cancer that's in remission. And a person may be disabled if he or she is believed to have a physical or mental impairment that is not transitory, lasting or expected to last at least six months, and minor, even if he or she doesn't have such an impairment. The Uniform Services Employment and Reemployment Rights Act of 1994 prohibits discrimination against veterans. Federal law defines a veteran as a person who has served an active military, naval, or air service who was discharged or released under conditions other than dishonorable. This definition explains that any individual that's completed service for any branch of the armed forces classifies as a veteran as long as they were not dishonorably discharged. The Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act of 2008 prohibits some types of genetic discrimination. Genetic discrimination occurs when people treat others or are treated differently because they have or are perceived to have a gene mutation that causes or increases the risk of an inherited disorder. It may also refer to any and all discrimination based on a genotype of a person rather than their individual merits. Genetic discrimination should be defined as when an individual is subjected to negative treatment, not as the result of when an individual's physical manifestation of the disease or disability, but because of the individual's genetic composition. The Immigration Reform and Control Act of 1986 prohibits discrimination on the basis of citizenship status. 
Citizenship status is not a person's national origin, but rather the status of the individual, which includes U.S. citizen or national, U.S. lawful permanent resident, a green card holder, persons granted refugee status in the United States, a special agricultural worker as defined by law, the IRCA, or Immigration Reform and Control Act, under its citizenship status discrimination provisions, provides that employers cannot discriminate based on an individual's status in one of these classes unless a law or regulation requires the employer to do so. Discriminatory practices can typically be grouped under one of four categories. Disparate treatment, where individuals are treated differently because of the characteristic that defines a protected class. Disparate impact, a more subtle and usually unintentional form, also known as adverse impact. Harassment, which is unwanted and unwelcome treatment because of a protected class. And retaliation, which prohibits employers from retaliating against an employee for making a complaint of harassment or discrimination. The U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, known as the EEOC, enforces federal laws prohibiting protected class employment discrimination on the basis of race, color, religion, national origin, sex, age, disability, veteran status, genetic information, and citizenship. These laws protect employees and job applicants against employment discrimination when it involves the protected characteristics we just explored.